Welcome back to Marshall Remodel. We're at the Mad County Build, and today we're going to talk about scaffolding. Um, when we started this project, this is the first house we've had that's had the super tall ceilings. So we were forced to buy scaffolding. We purchased uh, metal tech scaffolding. We actually got it, I think, at Home Depot. Right. We bought two six foot sections, and man, since I've bought that, I've used it for so many different projects, not just on this 18 foot ceiling, but I've used one section just where we've had eight foot ceilings, nine foot ceilings. I used it all around the porch and it's really, really been helpful and I wished I would have used it a long time ago. So yes. why don't you tell them about Metal Tech Scaffolding? Yeah, so we're really excited. I reached out to them a little while back and asked if they would be interested in doing a giveaway with our channel. And they're really excited to uh, give a scaffolding set like ours to one of you guys. So stay tuned to the end of the video for deal details on how to enter that. Yeah, so we are going to put our two sections together because behind us, if you can see, we have our wood stove and our chimney. All of that pipe should be here this week. So I'm gonna be installing the chimney pipe and we have to trim out all these windows and along the ceiling. So we're gonna take you through how to put it together and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. All right, so that's the first section, and one mistake I made, and you'll see this in other videos, as you can see, I have eight wheels on here. And being the man that I am, I didn't read the directions when I got it, and I was only using four wheels. So you wanna make sure you have all eight wheels in there, not just on the outriggers. When you go two sections high, they have a certain size outrigger you have to have, and then you can actually take this three sections high and then if you go to the third there's actually a wider outrigger you have to put on all right so now that you watched emily and i put that together let's just take a closer look on on this here's the outrigger for when you go two sections high and it slips over the frame and then there is two there are two pins that go in there's a pin here and a pin here that lock it into the frame then there's also a bolt that you tighten on there to stabilize it. And then you have two wheels on each outrigger. And they slip into this channel and they get locked in there with a pin. As far as the side goes, I have this set all the way to the top. If you wanted to adjust this, you'd have to pull this pin out on each side. You pull this on both sides and then you can slide that up and down to adjust the height of your platform. So really this goes together pretty fast like you saw. It's held together with a series of pins that go, go in these holes here so you can see you have lots of different adjustment heights. Each platform has a door that you can crawl through, which is really nice. You just pull this pin, it slides up, and then you can use the ladder to walk up through. And you can get all the way to the top without having to climb up the outside. Now if you do climb up the you know, outside, this top railing has a little pin here. You have to kind of rotate it 
and you can open this door. So if need be, you can climb up the outside, come through the door, close it, and then lock that back in place. So you can see that the upper railing just drops into those that square tubing. And then there's a lock pin that goes on all four corners. So as far as the second section goes, very easy to install. You just take the next ladder, you slide it over the uh, tube, and then you lock it in with pins. And then the rest of it goes together pretty much the same way. And then there is a safety rail that goes around the top. Um, that is a very important, especially when you get up there to 12 feet. Um, you fall from 12 feet and it's not going to be good. The way that platform or that guardrail works is you can use it no matter what the height of your platform is because it locks into these little sections right here. So this does not affect using the guardrail because the guardrails sit right in here on all four sections and then you can see there's a space for a pin to go through and lock that in place. As far as it goes putting this together, it's, it's really simple and actually really quick. I mean, I've taken this thing up and down numerous times. I mean, it takes 10-15 minutes to take it down and put it back up, but it's really not all that bad. Uh, another nice thing it has is you can lock all these wheels just by pushing that down. That locks that wheel and keeps it from moving. Um, you can do it with your uh, foot and then you just obviously push this and it unlocks it. I found that moving this around, it's really easy. You just unlock the wheels, it pushes easily. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort. If you are using just one section and you don't have the outriggers on, it easily goes through um, the doorway so you can move from room to room to room. Um, we used it a lot putting up uh, the can lights. We just had a single section. We actually set all of our can lights and everything on the platform, so it was awesome. As you moved the platform around to different spots, it moved all of your tools and equipment that you needed um, together. So I thought that was uh, really kind of really nice having that because it's almost like a movable workbench on top of a, a scaffold. All right, so we have this all set up. I went through some of the features with you. And like I said, I've used this a ton on this build and it was kind of a necessity. I mean, I could have done most of this without it. I don't think I could have done the ceiling. This was, it was a significant investment. I mean, but the amount of time and energy that it saved, it was well worth it. And I honestly, I've told Emily this, it's like, man, I should have bought this thing 10 years ago, but I'm kind of a cheapskate and you know, I realize now that this would have been very useful. Even on an eight or nine foot ceiling, this saves you an absolute ton of effort and time versus you know moving a ladder around all over the place and things like that. And it's something that if this, if you're doing a single project, like one home build, and then you're not planning on doing any more construction, you could easily resell this oh, and sure. recoup some of your costs. So um, it's definitely gone into our must have yeah. tool list. You know. All right, so now to the super exciting part of our uh, video, which is the giveaway. Uh, Metal Tech is giving us a Safe Climb uh, Baker job site scaffolding set uh, to, to give away to one of you guys, and it's going to be super simple to enter. This giveaway is open to the United States and Canada, and all you have to do is follow Metal Tech and Marshall Remodel on YouTube. 
comment on this video with uh, you know a comment letting us know that you like the video or that you are following both of us and then for bonus entries you can follow both Marshall Remodel and Metal Tech on Facebook and Instagram those will be counted as additional entries each place that you do that and the giveaway is going to be this 12 foot tall scaffolding it's got the safety rail on it it's got it's the exact one that we have right here so it's gonna be pretty awesome guys and just uh, if you guys purchase this or you win it just make sure you read all the safety instructions as I told you in the beginning I kind of messed up and <laughs> was only using four wheels and it's very very important that you use it uh, in the proper manner we appreciate you guys watching we're excited to give this away I know metal tech super excited to give it away get in there um, and enter and good luck yeah and we'll catch you on the next video that was not very good, like... <laughs> <laughs> Rookies.